From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. People say stop and smell the roses, but that's not easy when your nose always closes. When life gets busy and your nose flares into a tizzy, acupuncture can clear up your nose so that you don't sound like Miss Piggy. Come see me, Dr. Erica Olstein, at A Better You Healthcare just off of 27th Avenue behind the Paddock Mall. Call today to set your acupuncture appointment, 352-615-5566, and visit abetteryouhealthcare.com. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, five minutes after 11 o'clock. Beautiful looking Wednesday. I hope you're doing okay. Hey, I'm, I'm a pretty healthy guy, but a couple of months ago, I developed an ulcer on my left shin. Isn't that weird? Mm-hmm. And I know you know, Robert. And the reason I'm bringing it up is not to talk about my, my ulcer, but to tell you that I, I'm the last person you would come to to ask questions about skin care. But, mm-hmm. but so here, because we have a skin care specialist we're going to talk to. But here's what I can say this that before I went to a doctor, I tried, you, you go online, you know, and, and you find out things about, like, let's see, um, desitin, they say desitin, mm-hmm. calamine lotion, um, mm-hmm. something called uh, tea tree oil I tried, mm-hmm. um, I tried aloe vera, mm-hmm. I tried everything and nothing really worked. Some things actually mm-hmm. made it worse. I tried sugar. Something online said, put sugar on it. Mm-hmm. And I did. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it was horrible. It was like I had this, the worst sunburn in that one spot. And uh, then you, of course, were my, my reason. And uh, my, my thoughtful, you, you have thoughtful reason. And you say, why don't you go to the doctor? <laughs> I said, okay, that's a good idea. So you go to the doctor and of course they know more about it. And ever since then it's been so much better. Um, but anyway, we have on the phone, we're going to talk about skincare a little bit and how some of those things that I bought may have actually been bad for me. I don't mm-hmm. know if, if, I, if any of them were. I'm just saying some of them might have been. Mm-hmm. Deborah Chase is on the phone. She's a researcher on cancer and aging. She's a biologist. She's the founding editor of the Berkeley Wellness Newsletter. She's a consumer beauty advocate. She's the founder of the No Nonsense Beauty blog, and she's a best-selling author. She's on the phone for a little bit right now to talk to us about health and safety of skin products and hair products. And apparently, let's see, my notes say that there is a... Um, a product, a hair care product that causes hair loss, a lip balm that triggers dry, blemished skin, and a body powder that is linked to cervical cancer. Yeah, isn't that awful? Oh, man. We got to hear about this. So that's why you shouldn't really do anything unless your doctor says it's okay. Deborah Chase, good morning, Deborah. Good morning. Where are you? Where are you calling from? New York, where it's also beautiful. Not usually the, this way, but it's beautiful today. Oh, really? See, I miss New York. One day I'll get back. I'll get back. I'll take a, to welcome you. <laughs> I'll take a train. So when the train, you can get right off of Penn Station, boom, you don't got to worry about <laughs> traveling. You're right there. Right. <laughs> exactly. You're there. Yeah. So, t- so tell me about um, the, 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 these. I mean, this is a pretty scary body powder that's linked to cervical cancer. What, what, can we identify the powder or is it against uh, the law yes, to do that? Johnson, no, no. It's, 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 it's public knowledge. It's Johnson & Johnson baby powder. And no uh, way. Yeah. Two separate juries. Uh, found that John- Johnson and Johnson had failed to notify women of the risk uh, that that uh, their powder had, and found a total of a hundred and twenty-four million dollar judgment against Johnson. Wow! And Did you know that, Robert? More, no. And there are now more than a thousand suits against Johnson and Johnson, uh, similar cases. Um, and you know, it, it, lawsuits are are odd, and they have a life of their own. Mm. Um, but there is good scientific evidence to, that points to a link between increased risk of ovarian cancer and now lung cancer and body powder. And the reason that they originally thought the, the problem was caused by the asbestos in talc. And the body powders, baby powders, are made primarily of talc, which is, has, as the, in its uh, natural state has asbestos. It also has silicates in it. And so they removed uh, the asbestos um, in body powders. It was by law and by choice um, in the 70s. Um, But the increased risk still persists with uh, baby powder. Mm. And they think it might now be the silicates 
in the baby, the talc powder, which um, is not that surprising because silicates cause a lung condition called silicosis, which is not dissimilar from a mesothelioma. It's kind of the, the non-cancerous version of lung cancer, if you will, where the silicate fibers, like the asbestos fibers, get into the lung tissue, cause inflammation. Oh my goodness! Um, we put that, we yeah. put baby powder on our babies. I know. Well, they, they the rec- the pediatricians stopped recommending it about a decade ago, um, and there's been very little press about the health hazards of uh, a body powder. I continue to use it, you know, periodically. I used it in my shoes where it was, you know, if you have a pair of shoes that are a little tight, it right, really gives right. mm-hmm. an extra slide. Or a pair of jeans that shrink in the wash, you can, right. you know, and that you can deal with that. Uh, but apparently it, it, it gets into the air, you breathe it in, and it can cause problems. So um, there, but the, the the bad news is that it's still out there and that women need to get checked out, especially if they're regular users of uh, talc powders, baby powder, any kind of uh, okay. body powder. Now, well, um, I, I, a real quick question. Do, in order for it to be dangerous, would you yeah. have to apply it to, you know, the, the nether regions? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> in, in other words, you said you put it on your feet, but feet are, you're, you're two or three feet away from your, your... Exactly. Well, women use it on their diaphragm. They use it on sanitary pads, or they just wrap it between their thighs oh, really? uh, to avoid chafing, and they feel it just comes right up. Right. Um, it, it's, it floats. You know, when you put it on, right, right. it's always on the floor. And... Um, so that's that's a, a you know annoying and, and it's slippery, but uh, it it floats and you breathe it in or you it just travels okay. up. And um, so I mean I was stunned to read about it. I looking at the literature, some studies say it doesn't cause problems. Other studies say it does. Hmm. And it's it's very hard to um, to prove. Uh, this kind of, of study with people because it's on recall. You ask a thousand women, how long have you used baby powder? And it's, I, I wouldn't really have an accurate... Uh, All my life. Well, they say, there you go. Do you know All how we life. use it here in Florida? It, 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 it works really well. It, if, it does. If you go to the but beach, I, if you go to the beach and you have sand on your feet, uh-huh. baby powder takes it right off. Yeah. I yeah. know, but I have an alternative that's safe and healthy and inexpensive. A natural cornstarch powder, it, Argo cornstarch. You buy it in the baking section. Really? And, yes, and it doesn't contain any fibers that can cause damage. It's it does the same thing, and because the FDA has much tighter control of foods than it does of cosmetics, uh, you're much you know it's uh, it's safe and pure, um, and it's you, you know extremely inexpensive. A big box is like two dollars, three dollars. And one added bonus, it has no fragrance in it. And 50% of all problems with cosmetics is due to the fragrance in the formulation. A lot of women can wow. it, but a lot of women can't. So I'm very happy to be able to say uh, here's a great alternative. I know in Florida, and when I visited, a baby powder was, was practically attached to my right hand. Um, so uh, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It, it's now, dangerous, but you get checked out. I, I, we have a very short interview with you, and I'm finding this very interesting, but I, I want to make sure we have a way to learn more. Do you have a website you can share with us? Yes, it's No Nonsense Beauty Blog, and I did a long piece on um, uh, baby powder, and I just did a piece on Epsom salt, which is, has a lot better news. But oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah, I don't want to hear bad things about that. Yeah, okay. we like Epsom salt. No nonsense beauty. Okay, now, the thing I was talking about in the opening, my, my little thing on my leg, um, I bought tea tree oil for it, which was horrible. It was painful. But is there is there anything I could use that for that's good? Oh, tea tree oil is very good for acne. For um, acne? Okay. Yes, it, 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 it is antibacterial, and bacteria play a role um, in triggering uh, outbreaks of, uh, of blemishes. Um, so that is, it's an effective uh, ingredient. Um, aloe is an effective ingredient for sunburn, and uh, it has antioxidants, it's soothing, and it's non-irritating. And this, you really get to the heart of, my, of the why I do the blog. It's because there are good products out there, but you have to choose the right mm-hmm, one for mm-hmm. your problem and use it properly. All right, so the, the, the big takeaway from this is uh, the blog. So go to nonsensebeautyblog.com 
and uh, you'll be able to read Deborah Chase's uh, blog. Deborah, thank you for being on the air with us today. I think a lot of people just uh, decided to go buy some cornstarch instead of uh, baby powder. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you for talking to me. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's what I'm going to do. All right, <laughs> thank you. We will be right back. <laughs> The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. Wednesday will be a partly sunny, warm day with a high of 84 along the coast, 89 inland. Mainly clear winds tonight, lows in the low to mid-60s inland, 69 at the beaches. Thursday, sunshine mixing with clouds, breezy in the afternoon, the high 82 on the coast, 87 inland. For Friday, partly sunny and becoming breezy with a shower with thunderstorm in spots, especially in the afternoon, the high 83 to 87. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Are you in need of custom screen printing, embroidery, or promotional items? Then look no further and come visit the brand new Legacy Team Sales. LTS is conveniently located off 17th 